Hey there, space enthusiasts and elevator aficionados. Welcome to the most out-of-this-world video you'll see today, literally. We're about to take a journey that'll make your head spin faster than a pulsar on caffeine. Buckle up because we're diving into the mind-bending concept of the space elevator from Earth to orbit in 30 minutes. Now you might be thinking, what in the name of Neil Armstrong's moon boots is a space elevator? Well, imagine if Jack's beanstalk had a baby with the Empire State Building and that baby grew up to be a cosmic overachiever. That's basically what we're talking about here, folks. Picture this, a massive cable stretching from the Earth's surface all the way up to geosynchronous orbit. That's about 35,786 kilometers or 22,236 miles for our friends using the Imperial system. To put that into perspective, that's like stacking about 4,000 Eiffel Towers on top of each other. Talk about a stairway to heaven. But why, you ask? Would we want to build this cosmic skyscraper? Well, let me tell you, it's not just because we ran out of floors in the Burj Khalifa. The space elevator could revolutionize space travel as we know it. Imagine hopping into an elevator car and casually ascending to orbit while sipping your morning coffee. No more strapping yourself to a giant firecracker and hoping for the best. Just a smooth ride up with a view that'll make your Instagram followers weep with envy. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, right? Well, hold on to your space helmets because the concept is more real than you might think. Scientists and engineers have been seriously considering this idea since the late 19th century. That's right. While your great-great-grandparents were still figuring out how to use a telephone, some visionaries were already dreaming about cosmic elevators. But let's get down to the nitty-gritty. How would this celestial lift actually work? The basic idea is to have a super-strong cable anchored to the Earth's surface, extending all the way up to a counterweight in space. This counterweight would be positioned beyond geosynchronous orbit, keeping the cable taut through centrifugal force. It's like spinning a ball on a string, except the ball is a space station, and the string is a cable that could support the weight of countless elevator cars. Speaking of the cable, this isn't your average rope from the hardware store. We're talking about a material so strong it makes Superman look like a weakling. The leading candidate for this cosmic cord is carbon nanotubes. These microscopic tubes of carbon are incredibly light, yet stronger than steel. How strong, you ask? Well, a cable made of carbon nanotubes could theoretically support its own weight all the way up to geosynchronous orbit and beyond. It's like the Chuck Norris of materials, except it actually exists. Now let's talk about the elevator cars themselves. These wouldn't be your typical elevators with cheesy Muzak and awkward silences. Oh no, we're talking about high-tech capsules that would climb the cable at speeds of up to 190 miles per hour. That's 306 kilometers per hour for our metric friends. At that speed, you could reach orbit in about 30 minutes. Just enough time to watch a few cat videos and update your space status. But wait, there's more! The space elevator wouldn't just be a fancy way to get astronauts to the International Space Station. It could completely transform how we approach space exploration and exploitation. Yes, I said exploitation, but in a good way. Imagine being able to transport massive amounts of cargo into space at a fraction of the current cost. We could build bigger space stations, launch more ambitious missions to other planets, and maybe even start that lunar colony we've all been dreaming about. And let's not forget about space tourism. Forget those measly 10-minute suborbital flights. With a space elevator, average Joes and Janes could spend their vacations in actual orbit. Honeymoon on the moon? Anniversary dinner with a view of the entire Earth? The possibilities are as endless as space itself. Now, I know what some of you skeptics out there are thinking. This all sounds great, but surely there must be some challenges, right? Well, you're not wrong. Building a space elevator isn't exactly like putting together an IKEA bookshelf although it might come with equally confusing instructions. First off, we need to actually create those super strong carbon nanotubes in the lengths required for the cable. Currently, we can only make them in tiny amounts. It's like trying to knit a sweater with eyelashes, not exactly practical yet. Then there's the small matter of actually constructing this thing. We'd need to figure out how to deploy a cable thousands of kilometers long without it getting tangled worse than your earbuds in your pocket and let's not even get started on the logistics of anchoring it to the Earth and attaching the counterweight in space. It's a construction project that would make the builders of the Great Wall of China say, nah, that's too much work. But wait, there's more! We'd also need to deal with space debris. 
potential terrorist attacks and the occasional curious bird wondering what this giant string in the sky is all about. It's like trying to build the world's tallest Jenga tower while people are throwing ping pong balls at it. And let's not forget about the weather. Hurricanes, lightning strikes, and even the jet stream could all pose serious threats to our cosmic cable. We need some serious engineering magic to make sure our space elevator doesn't turn into the world's largest jump rope. But hey, don't let these challenges get you down. Remember once upon a time people thought flying was impossible. Now we complain when our in-flight Wi-Fi is too slow. Progress, am I right? The truth is, while a space elevator might seem like a far-off dream, it's a dream that could revolutionize our relationship with space. It could make space travel as common as catching a bus, open up new frontiers for scientific research, and maybe even help us solve some of our problems here on Earth. Imagine being able to easily transport solar panels into orbit, beaming clean energy back to Earth. Or setting up factories in space, taking advantage of zero gravity to create new materials and medicines. We could even use the elevator to help clean up space debris, turning Earth's orbit from a cosmic junkyard into a well-organized celestial neighborhood. So, while we might not be riding a space elevator to work anytime soon, it's definitely an idea worth reaching for. Who knows? Maybe in a few decades, kids will be asking their parents for space elevator rides instead of trips to Disneyland. And let's be honest, watching the Earth shrink feet as you ascend into the cosmos beats any roller coaster hands down. As we wrap up this cosmic journey, I want you to take a moment to appreciate the sheer audacity of the space elevator concept. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless drive to explore the unknown. From the first time our ancestors looked up at the stars and wondered what was out there, to today's scientists and engineers working tirelessly to make those dreams a reality, we've come a long way. The space elevator might still be a concept for now, but it's concepts like these that push us forward. They challenge us to think bigger, reach higher, and never stop questioning what's possible. So the next time you're in an elevator stuck between floors and questioning your life choices, just remember, one day, that elevator might just take you to the stars. And who knows, maybe someday we'll look back on this video and laugh at how quaint our ideas of space travel were. Maybe we'll be watching it from a lunar resort or a Martian colony or even from the observation deck of the very space elevator we've been talking about. Until then, keep looking up, keep dreaming big, and who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to solve the carbon nanotube problem or figure out how to dodge space debris. After all, every great achievement starts with someone saying, hey, what if we tried this crazy idea? So, space cadets, that's our whistle-stop tour of the space elevator concept. From Earth to orbit in 30 minutes with a side of scientific challenges and a sprinkle of cosmic dreams. If this video has left your head spinning faster than a neutron star, don't worry, that's just the effect of having your mind blown by the possibilities of future space travel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more out-of-this-world content. And hey, if you happen to be a billionaire looking for your next big project, give me a call. I've got this great idea for a really, really tall elevator. Until next time, space fans, keep reaching for the stars or at least for the top floor.